Ooh. So we're back with another quick meal. And quick meaning the crock pot does all the work, basically. We're gonna be making our own homemade chili. And that's very simple. Um, we have our diced and uh, tomatoes. Some are diced and chili ready. Um, instead of using beans, we use green beans. The texture is still good. We have our salt, pepper, chili powder, smoked paprika, uh, mustard, fresh garlic. I got about more of this. And then um, I got a little ahead of myself. I started uh, going right into cooking <laughs> without turning the play button on, the record button. So um, I already got uh, diced onion, slightly grilled, a little browned. And then I also went ahead and got a Plabano pepper, which is right now in here steaming because I've already roasted it on uh, the stove. So yeah, sorry about that. So we're gonna go ahead and get going here. I'm gonna go ahead and slightly brown uh, the meat here. We have a uh, half a pound of pork, a pound of ground beef. I'm gonna slightly brown it just a little bit, not all the way. Get some of the grease out. We're gonna pour that in there. And then we're gonna start adding our ingredients Heating up our uh, uh, crock pot to about a cinnamon down low, and then cook it up to about six hours. And then we're gonna show you the special ingredient we added just to give it more flavor. So let's get started. All right, we are now getting the ground beef semi-cooked up. Going a little salt, a little pepper. And then after that, I'm gonna transfer that into the crock pot and then I'm gonna go ahead and get the pork, grill it off a little bit, get that excess grease off. And then we're gonna add that on and then we're gonna start opening up cans and adding seasoning and spices. So yeah, here we go. slightly browned off and a little bit of the excess grease, you know, taken off so that way it's not swimming in grease when you're done cooking it. Um, we're going to go ahead and um, get our onions in here. Then we're going to go ahead and uh, I still got to go ahead and chop up these chipotle peppers. We use about two. We tried going three one time. It was just a little bit too hot for me. For my wife, it was fine, but I am not that good with heat. So we're going to go with two chipotle uh, peppers. But then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna cut up this pavano. We're gonna go ahead and strip the skin off, make sure there's no seeds, kick out any of the stem. And then I'm gonna dice that up. We're gonna to toss it in there. And then we're gonna to go to open up these cans, get these guys going in and um, get these in there. Have to get some garlic, chili powder, salt, pepper, some uh, mustard. We're gonna mix it around. We're gonna add a little bit more. We're gonna test it. And then we're gonna get going. So yeah, let's get started with um, get this pavano and these Chipotle peppers cut and go on from there. So, yeah. We had a little bit of a production problem when we were like tossing all this in there and showing you what it was Meaning we just never hit record because we're fun like that. Um, so now everything's in the pot What is in the pot? You already kind of saw the beginning of it. We have in here the beef and pork mixture the poblano pepper that has been diced up the chipotle pepper that has been practically mushed up extremely finely minced along with two spoonfuls of the adobo sauce from the can. So here's the can of chipotle peppers. And uh, there's adobo sauce inside. So you take two spoonfuls of that sauce without any pepper on it and then toss it in there. And then from there, you threw in the onions. And then what you guys missed was 
We put in two cans of diced tomatoes. This one is chili ready, so it has some of the, the chili uh, powder and some onions and garlic in it. And then, for, then we put in our green beans. We use cut green beans instead of like regular uh, kidney beans and stuff just because it gives it a really nice flavor. And honestly, it just kind of changes it up just enough to be interesting. We have cumin, dry mustard, pepper, paprika, our tiny little thing of mild chili powder, all in there. And we always put in a squeeze of regular yellow mustard because the uh, vinegar adds a little acidity to it, which is real nice. And then finally, normally you'd put in a little bit of uh, pasta sauce, but we don't have any pasta sauce. So we put in a little bit of water, a little bit of tomato paste. It'll make it saucy. And we always put in uh, one cube of the beef bouillon here. We really, really like this Knorr brand because the bouillon cubes are actually kind of on the larger side and they have a really, really great flavor. So they are one of our favorite. It's like this or better than bouillon. Yeah. And then fine, oh, and then obviously what was left of our giant Costco thing of minced garlic, which we run through very quickly. We obviously like garlic here. Yes, we do. And finally, our secret ingredient, which is now empty, uh, it is a quarter cup of fresh brewed coffee goes in the pot. That brings such a depth of flavor to it that um, once since I've started putting in coffee to like beef things, oh man, it's just so good. Highly recommend. So there we go. It's a lot of ingredients. It's a lot of ingredients. It is a lot of ingredients. It will be down, down in the description below everything and an optional about certain things that if you want to add or not add. But the, uh, the recipe is very simple. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so once again, sorry for the technical difficulties. It's just, it's like, looks like a lot of stuff, but basically it's just, you should kind of dump it in there. We don't have a lot of um, measurements for these things just because we kind of just by go and then we, we will taste it as we go. Oh, like. So what's fun thing is that you're gonna see this color change from this like light browny pinky to like a deep, deep dark red once this gets done. We're doing it for four hours at low. Sometimes we'll do it uh, five or six hours at low, but you can also do this at two hours at high and it'll be the same. So, so we will see you in three hours and 54 minutes. Yeah, we'll do some shots of what it looks like probably about every hour if, if we remember but show you the transition <laughs> of color. <laughs> and to give you an idea, this only took us uh, from start to finish, half not even a half hour, yeah. yeah. I mean, especially if you just kind of get in the zone, like you were this morning. Yeah, I was in the zone. That's Super why you zone. did not see I mean, uh, the cutting of the onions or the roasting of the flavano pepper. Sorry yeah. about that. Yeah, so <laughs> now we will, we will see you guys in a little while. Okay, we're gonna come in and look at the chili right now. As you can see, it's starting to go. Really good. As you see, the color has changed. A lot of stuff has cooked down. It's almost done here. About an hour and a half left to go. But I'm about to take a little taste, see if we need to add anything. That's good. There's a little delayed heat there. Well, there is some sweetness. Right now, it's looking good. So, let me cover this back up. I'm gonna open up a little bit, just to get the residual liquid on top to evaporate a little bit more and go on from there. Okay, our time has finished. As you can see, we're just sitting on warm now. So let's take a look. Ooh, look how nice and red it got. Let's give this a swirl. I gotta tell you that the smell coming off of this is amazing. So there we have it. There is our wonderful green bean chili. And it is so good, you guys. I really, really hope that you do eventually try it. And of course, tinker with the ingredients and tinker around with the with the spices as much as you want. Uh, it's We just came up with this on our own, just kind of from making previous chilies and such. We do love it so much. Matt had to go to work, so from me, from all of us, to you, I hope you guys have a wonderful evening. I hope it's a good dinner, and we'll see you guys on our next adventure. Bye!